A resident of Potin in the Gumwa East district of the central region were left in shock when 14-year-old Philip Dadzi, a JHS2 student, was found in a pool of blood with severe machete wounds on July 26, 2023. Initially, Philip claimed he had been attacked by unknown assailants while jogging along the Potin Dominance stretch. The news garnered public sympathy with contributions pouring in for his medical expenses. However, a recent revelation has turned the case around. It has come to light that Philip sustained the injuries during an attempted stealing incident at the Dominacy Onion Market. He was accompanied by four older suspects between the ages of 25 and 30. On the fateful day, security guards at the market intercepted the group. In the ensuing clash, Philip pulled out a knife and a guard retaliated with multiple machete strikes. He managed to escape but was later coerced by his colleagues into giving a false narrative about the attack. Thanks to media reports, the truth emerged and the market security guards brought the matter to the attention of the potting police. Under interrogation, Philip admitted to his involvement in the attempted theft. And according to the boy, he went out for jogging and he was attacked. But later when we launched investigation into the matter, after we made the news to cover the incident, we had another wing that there is a new development or new twist at the onion market. The people told us that indeed the boy went to the onion market to make an attempt to steal some items there. So he was accosted or he was apprehended by the security man at post. And in the course of getting closer to him, the poor innocent boy pulled a cutlass and tried to inflict a wound on the man. That's the security man. So according to the man's narrative, he said that there was a struggle between himself and the boy. Uh, as far as the cutlass or the knife that he used to inflict that wound on him is concerned. So when he overpowered him, then he came to the realization that uh, he has inflicted some cutlass wounds on the boy. Then from there, he held the boy and called another security man to come and give him support. So when the security man was coming, probably the, the security man that was having the confrontation with the boy lost concentration on the boy. So the boy, out of magic or God's intervention, he was able to remove himself from the attire that he was wearing. So he fled from the scene and went into the darkness. Then after that, uh, he, according to the boy, he went with certain team. There were additional three boys, uh, making up to four. So those boys realized that indeed it caused mayhem to the boy. So they brought a motorbike and put him on the motorbike and brought him to an asket of potting community where people can see him. So he was dumped there. And they told him that it was even a caution, according to the boy. They warned him that he should say that uh, he was on a jogging spree when that incident happened. Philip has since been discharged from the 37 military hospital in Accra, where he received treatment. He is now cooperating with the police in their investigations while efforts to locate and apprehend the other suspects are ongoing. The situation is under control. The boy, we spoke to him. And when I spoke to him, he admitted that indeed he went to the market. On record, he admitted that he went to the market. That is why the police are here. You are very much aware. The police are here. But he never took them to the spot with which he indicated earlier. But rather, he has taken them to the onion market, which the truth reveals that that is where the chaos or the incident happened.